Well, Fulton County students return to full time face to face instruction today and students are back in the classroom five days a week, but it's uh, not mandatory. Parents were given the option to send their students back or to keep them at home. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is at Hurd's Ferry Elementary School where some students were eager to get back into the building. No doubt this is a strange time for both parents and students and of course there are risks but everyone is being cautiously optimistic. On a brisk fall morning, parents walk their little ones to Hertz Ferry Elementary School in Sandy Springs. My daughter's very excited to get back into school and I think it's best for both parents and kids to you know, see if we can work this out. Fulton County Schools students can return to face-to-face -face learning if their parents chose to send them back. According to the district, 60% of students are returning. The other 40% will continue to learn virtually. Erica Smith has two kids going back. They wanted to get back, see some friends, see some teachers. It's just they wanted to be around other people. This week, the district launched an online portal where parents can report a child's COVID-19 diagnosis or exposure to the virus. All information is sent to the Fulton County Board of Health. I think I'm very impressed with Fulton County and Hertz Ferry in the approach they're taking. Obviously, safety is utmost importance, and I think they're taking the right protocols in place to ensure the kids are safe. The school district is in Fulton County, which has the state's most confirmed COVID-19 cases, and the district is reporting COVID-19 numbers by school on a weekly basis. Officials say they'll continue to monitor data to make future decisions. The plan to return full time is only until the end of the semester in December. Nothing has been set yet for 2021. In Fulton County, I'm Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.